video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. Hey guys, how's it going? Maskbox here and welcome to another 2025 Crimo video and today we're going to be looking at one of the more exciting players in the Premier League and it is Coutinho. Philippe Coutinho, finally this year in FIFA 16, has been given a real upgrade in his overall. Now sitting around 84, maybe arguably could be a little bit higher than that. He's had a very good season so far, but personally, I'm just happy that he's finally at least level with Oscar. I think we all know who's a little bit better. I still think too that he's still got a little bit more improvement left to go with his FIFA 16 carrot or with his play in FIFA. I think he could very arguably be five-star skills. Maybe not as much as other players, but I think he's definitely a shout. And I think he's definitely a real talent. He's still quite young, 23 years of age, and an absolutely brilliant player. You could definitely argue that he can only get better from here. He might he might actually get so good that he may not be a Liverpool player for much longer. But only time will tell. All I can tell you is that he's a brilliant career mode pickup, absolutely can play both center attack and mid, and on the left-hand side as well. But let's take a look at this man's stats. So here he is, Philippe Coutinho, 84 rated. He's got very good acceleration and agility, but his sprint speed itself isn't that fantastic. Stamina's okay. Uh, yeah, so he probably actually doesn't. He has deceivingly uh, little pace than what you would think with that acceleration, that agility. Then sprint speed really kills it. He's got some very, again, brilliant ball control dribbling. Passing looks great, some finishing as well. He can play CM and left wing as well as the center attack and mid. High attacking work rate as well. Four star weak foot and the four star skill moves, five foot seven. Dribbler and acrobat specialities and the finesse shot, flare and long shot taker traits as well. That's brilliant. 84 rated and a potential of 88. So let's get this rolling then. All right, in the end of the first season, Philip Coutinho, has he had a good or a bad season? Let's find out right now. It's 84 still. No growth, nothing whatsoever to his overall or the physical or the mental or the technical. Nothing specific. No actual one stat has gone up or at least from what we can tell. His morale's pretty bad, so that probably indicates that maybe... Uh, he didn't play enough games, but then again, 84 rated. He's easily one of the better players in the side, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Just a bad start, but hopefully he, we, hopefully we can get that uh, together. Let's sort this shit out, Coutinho, right now. Here we go. The end of the second season now. He would be about 25 years of age, maybe something like that. Philip Coutinho, finally a little bit of growth to plus one now. 25 years of age, 85 rated. No growth to the physical or the mental, as it seems to be the case with all oh, so many players. But this time, we see growth to the ball control, the dribbling, heading accuracy, crossing, Long passing, long shooting as well as shot power. Some little stats here and there that have gone up and warranted a plus one increase. So we are plus one in two seasons with Coutinho. If he actually keeps up that form for the next eight seasons, he will get to his potential and actually go past it. And now it's only gotten even better. He's at 86. That's plus two in three seasons with him. He's now two away from his potential of 88 and he continues to get even better. And again, only in specific technical attributes like his ball control, dribbling, crossing, almost the exact same stats that uh, last time winner have now gone up again. Surely there are some other stats that have been slightly increased. I think maybe uh, a couple stats here and there, nothing that's being indicated, but still. Now 86 at 26 years of age. It is great to see. It's a shame that we're not seeing a wider, you know, development of the player, but then again, that's more something that could be helped with player training, something that we can't do in this series, but still, natural potential taking place. Uh, he's 86 rated at 26 years of age, but now we've got to find out what his rating will be in 2025. So here we are, and here we go. Philip Coutinho, he started off slow, then slowly got it back together. Is he going to be able to hopefully have developed some of those other technical attributes more widespread? Let's find out. What's his rating in 2025? 88 rated, going down, he's got to his potential. He actually went down in this one season. He got to 89 at least. I can tell you that he actually got to 90. That was the best that he got to. He went down in an overall in the previous season to this one. So there you go though, 88 rated, he got to 90 and he's actually still on his potential at the final season, at 2025. When you go through some of his technical attributes, you can see things like this, the ball control and the dribbling, which is amazing. The passing, which is brilliant as well. Around 90, the mid 90s passing, as well as so many other terrific stats. Things like some of it, maybe his finishing and some other things like that could have been improved a little bit or we would have hoped that they would have been increased. But still, I won't lose much sleep over it. He's still a brilliant player. There are definitely some stats that you would have hoped probably could have gotten a little bit better for that sort of a rating. But still, we won't worry too much about it. That is Coutinho in 2025. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. Don't forget, once again, leave in the comments down below suggestions for the next 2025 Crew Mode video. And until the next time, guys, my name is Master Bucks. Like and subscribe and have a good one. Bye-bye.